welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. And my name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. Is that your new percussion instrument? This is Cat Crack. Remember we showed the Temptations a while ago? I do remember the Cat Crack Beaver. episode. They, they don't seem to be buying it, though. Somebody asked recently if, uh, where's Boo? And Boo just doesn't want to come on set anymore. So I try to get some treats out. Uh, go get him, Sean. Here you go. So today on the show, while uh, Sean is fetching Boo, we're going to talk about satellite radio. Oh, oh he's hollering. He's all, oh, no. And, ooh, ah, easy. Ooh. There we go. Two cats, no waiting, lots of treats. So satellite radio, huh? Satellite radio. We're going to talk about satellite radio. Yeah. What, what is, is it? it? Why do we want it? Wow, it's like we rehearsed that. I know. It's pretty good. Um, we're going to talk about Sirius and XM Radio and all the people that provide the, the beaming team. radio technology from the sky. Yes. Okay, very good. Now we have two cats, and uh, we have lots of satellite radio stuff. And then now we have a commercial coming up that you can look at, and when you come back, hopefully we'll have no cats, mm -hmm. and it'll all be all about technology. Did you leave any of those snacks for me? I did, yeah, actually. You can have one if you like. Want one? All right. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll be back after this. Mm. Yum. Okay, cats off. Cats off. <laughs> cats off. So that took some doing. Getting yeah. cats off of the studio table. Yeah, we don't know how long that'll last either. I mean, I don't think Boo's going to come back up here, but uh, our man Biff. No, <laughs> Boo's peeing on your bag over there. Good, good. Because <laughs> he doesn't like you. That's uh, your bag. <laughs> oh, it is my bag, too. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Biffer. Uh. Oh, well. This show is not going very well right now. <laughs> at all. So we better get into the learning portion of the show. Yes. Before we have an accident. Satellite radio. Satellite radio. Well, let's talk about radio in general to begin with. Okay. So, uh, traditionally speaking. Yes. Radio. AM? FM. FM. Hmm. FM, uh, higher frequency, better throughput, stereo, AM, mono. Eh. Lower bandwidth. Right. But it goes a long way. And that's kind of been around for a long, long time. Yeah, so that was using the 60s and the 70s. It's called radio because it uses radio waves. Radio it uses waves. the radio spectrum to, to send things. And yes. new satellite radio does as well, but um, it doesn't know, come from antennas. No, it comes in a different sort of way. But uh, so. yeah, so I mean, one of the, the things about old school radio, your AM and FM stations, is they were in local markets, essentially, and you would have antennas, as you pointed out, that would pump that out through the air in a local area. And then people would receive them if they were within range of it. Right. And that was all well and good, but you know, when you get to the edge of the range, then you start hearing and drops in and drops out. It's not so good. Um, you know, not, not necessarily the best choice for everybody. FM audio quality better than AM, but you know, in the, day, the days of uh, CDs and mm -hmm. digital audio, of course, you want pristine. We're all used to pristine. Yeah, and you want choice as and well. You want choice. And you want choice. With, uh, with old school radio, you have to have radio stations around you that were broadcasting. So if you lived in a major urban market, you might have hundreds of choices. Lots of AM, lots of FM, uh, lots of different styles of music, lots of different formats, personalities, whatever. So if you didn't like one station, you could choose another one. But if you're in a rural market, on the other hand, you might have one choice. The, uh, the local agricultural station that plays country music, and then occasionally has a farm report. And it's an AM, and it comes from 600 miles away. Right. So, you know, not necessarily the best choice for everybody. And then they invented satellites. Not that I have any problem with agricultural reports or country music. You know, this is, that's where I came from. But I remember growing up in, uh, in rural Manitoba, in a small town there, we had two radio stations. And sometimes, if we were lucky, we got the third one coming in from Winnipeg. So. That explains your obsessive compulsion for um, buying music. Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay. I had to okay. Buy it all. So that's the history of. Hear it on the radio. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Moving on. Together. So satellite, right. fun satellites in the sky, spinning around the yes. planet. So radio comes out of them now. Yes. Okay. So tell us a bit about that. Well, uh, we've got um, in North America, anyways. We have two major 
satellite radio providers mm -hmm. and have for a few years now. One of them is XM and one of them is Sirius. XM, like it's AM, FM, XM? XM, right. Oh, clever. Clever mm. marketing people. Yes. And then I'm Sirius? I'm not sure what that stood for. Extended modulation, maybe? Could I don't be. know. Maybe. And then Sirius, like as in the, uh, the dog star. Sirius. The dog star. S-I-R-I-U-S. As opposed to? As opposed to serious. serious. This is a very serious topic. Right. Serious music for serious fans. Yes. Right. OK. So today you have a, so we, so you have a both or one or what? No, we, we have some Sirius here. Now, the big news is that uh, Sirius is in the process of acquiring XM. And it's in, I'm not 100% sure what stage that'll be in by the time you see this. But you know, the, the legal papers are flying back and forth. And the details are still to come in a lot of cases. So, But they both work on the same premise, right? There's satellites yeah. in the sky that beam down a signal. Right. And it's received by these devices. Right. And it's digital, right? It is all digital, right? right? So old, old school uh, radio was analog, which meant that it was pumping out uh, an analog sine wave, essentially modulated, which is why you have AM and FM, amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. It would basically take that sine wave carrier and then change it by adding things to it. Now this is all ones and zeros that's coming through the air now mm -hmm. with, uh, with Sirius and with XM. Right. And, uh, which is great, right? Because yeah. ones and zeros means it's pristine, which means that there's no Noise. It's just either you have the signal and you hear it, or you don't have the signal and you don't. More or right. less. More or less. Yeah. There's some little quirks, like uh, sometimes it'll, you'll have little dropouts and sometimes you'll get digital uh, artifacting. But you know, for the most part, it, it sounds very good. So mm -hmm. when you're at the range of FM, it starts to really static out. You don't get that with FM or with oh, yeah. with a satellite. You just lose blocks of the signal. Right. 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 Okay. Very good. So. Some pros and cons with these sorts of things as well. As you said, pro, it's, pro. it's digital, digital, it's uh, which means good quality, so better quality than AM for sure, mm -hmm. and uh, it definitely better quality in some cases than FM, especially if you're on the edge of your signal. Mm -hmm. uh, pro, if you're a, the sort of person that travels a lot around the country, since it's satellite, you can actually receive this all through Canada, all through the U.S., and you can follow a single station basically wherever you go. Yeah, I did that when I was uh, dating a very lovely lady. In uh, in Montreal, mm -hmm. and I live in Toronto, which is you know it's a six-hour drive between the two, mm -hmm. and you know fairly rural between the two as well. Yeah. So and so what would happen is I drive along and I get this continuous signal all the way through, right? right. Whereas yeah. otherwise I was tuning radio, yeah. local radio stations as I was going. So. Yeah, and in the old days uh, when you're doing that is let's say you have a national service like in the states NPR here you have CBC you could go from station to station that's repeating that along the way but you'd have to know what the frequency is or do a lot of searching and it's just it's wasting your time and taking your eyes off the road right. potentially so you, the advantage is you can ride the signal anywhere you go without that interruption very good so it's free right uh, no that's a downside so with uh, an old school radio signal it is basically well, not exactly open source I guess but it the AM is known, FM is known, it's the public airwaves. Anybody that could make a radio receiver, um, one of the companies like Panasonic or RCA. Sony, RCA, whatever, you could make these things and just tune into what's out there. With satellite radio, it's not quite that good because you have to buy into this system. With Sirius or XM, they're two separate systems using roughly the same bandwidth to send the information, but they have different receiving and encryption methods. So you actually have to pay a subscription fee to uh, listen to the radio stations. Ad-free, ad though, right? Uh, Mostly. In, in some cases, it's yeah. ad-free. Right. So uh, you might have specific uh, channels that uh, Sirius has put together and is streaming live to you commercial-free. And you might have uh, stations that are out there, like the CBC or NPR or CNN, for example, that they're actually repurposing and sending out to you, and they will have the commercials intact. Okay, so, right. Sometimes completely ad-free, sometimes a lot of ads. So it really will depend on the channel you're listening so, to. But I guess the other advantage is that you, you talked about CNN and all kinds of different channels. Mm -hmm. Lots to choose from, right? Yeah. Like with micro niche content. Yeah. We're talking um, with Sirius and XM hundreds of channels, hundreds of channels between the two. Right. Um, so you maybe get a 200 channels on Sirius, 200 on XM. And, 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 and the problem at this point is some of them are only on one or the other. Uh, yeah. So you have to double check to make sure which one you want to go for before right. you make that choice. But yeah, so you're you're locked into the system and you might not be getting a channel you really want because it's on the other one. So right. spending about twelve to fifteen dollars a month for for the fee, depending on where you are, I guess, right. and how long you subscribe for. Very cool. 
So let's talk about hardware. Hardware. So what kind of hardware? So you obviously you have to change out mm -hmm. in your car, you have to change out mm -hmm. your device. Yep. But let's talk about the various ways to receive this. Well, uh, it's interesting that you mentioned car because a lot of manufacturers now are offering one or the other service as a built-in in-dashboard mm -hmm. um, service. So you can buy an XM radio and just have it straight in your car and not have to think about it. Then you pay for the subscription on top of that and then you're activated and you can listen to satellite radio or your local radio stations. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy a separate uh, piece like this. We've got uh, the Stiletto from Sirius. Um, and we also have this SP5 model down here, which we currently have hey, sitting the, in the, the dock here. Is the cat in the way? Ah, the cat's fine. cat's fine. So you've got these two choices. This one right here has a battery built in, so you can walk around with it. So it's okay. It's this one is uh, something that you can either put into your dock at home, yeah. or you can put into uh, your car dock as could well. You, you could, power, could you power it out of your like your uh, lighter connector? You, you could power it out of the lighter, yes. Yeah. So this one has an extra power connection inside here right. that you would attach to that, or you could buy a special transmitter dock mm. that will either, if you can't plug it directly into your stereo because it's too old, you can actually use an FM transmitter to send it out there. So you do have these choices, right. both on XM and with Sirius. These ones are Sirius specific. Okay, got it. Um, now here's the down one really big downside. Yeah. It's satellite radio, and oh, this is uh, interchangeable here, so we can put that oh, one in there instead. Good. It's satellite radio. Yes. Which means you have to be able to see, see the, the sky. Satellite. Yeah. So right now we can't get anything in here because we can't see the sky in here. I mean, I don't know whether you got a hole in the roof here, but I think you also got about six floors above you here. So where's the reception? Well. Right. You got an antenna here. Antenna! And Yay! You can take this to the window. I'll have you take this over to the window. Code. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to fire this up right now. And uh, while he's doing that, does it have to look at the sky? It actually has to see the outside. Okay. So there you go. So it comes, thankfully, with this really long wire here inside so that you can actually string it out to the outdoors. Um, and then it'll essentially try to find. Uh, the antenna, so and play try it. to find this. Antenna not detected. Oh. You broke it. Did I break it? So let's, let's switch out to this one and see if we have any better luck. So, and, and this is actually a problem even when you're in your car. Um, they, they have to have access to the sky, essentially. And uh, that means that if you're listening to your, your music and then you go, go under tunnel? an underpass or mm -hmm. through a tunnel, it's gone. And doesn't it buffer? It buffers a little bit, but mm -hmm. that'll only last so long. So, mm -hmm. for example, I was taking a ride in, the, uh, in a, a suburb the other day, and I got caught behind a traffic light, and I just happened to be caught directly underneath an overpass. And so I'm sitting there, and my music disappeared, and I, I was kind of looking forward to hearing what was coming next right. on this. And, yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck. Work. So now it's acquiring the signal. Right. So we might, have to, we might have to tweak this a little bit during the break and, uh, and find the sky. And so this is, this is why this is potentially a problem inside the house, is uh, even when you have your antenna connected, as we do here to this dock, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, have it out at the window, it's not necessarily going to see the satellites that it needs to to get the signal down. Right. So we should put it out, we'll back put it out there. the back. Yeah, we'll do that during the break. Okay, we'll do it at the break. So big pro, you can get tons and tons of different music for one low price. And uh, big uh, con, it might not work in your apartment, so uh, it might be something that you use only in your in your car. In your car, yeah, yeah. And you know, if you're you know driving under the channel, like you, you get on a train and go under the channel, under the English Channel, mm -hmm. no satellite radio because there's no sky. Yeah, I mean, the good news is that uh, a number of metro areas now, like I guess New York or San Francisco, are putting repeaters, like oh. land-based repeaters of the signal. Uh, in areas where it might be like when you're downtown in New York City, it's like a concrete canyon, you can't right. actually see the sky there. So they're starting to put repeaters in certain areas <laughs> so that people still can get service. So. Well, that's good. So, 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 so it's actually nice. catching on to putting the infrastructure it's, in place. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you know anything about satellite radio in other countries, like outside of North America? Well, the interesting thing about that, there, there are other services out there, but um, to a large extent, they don't need satellite radio in these places because the areas are so compact. So a country like the UK, for example, uh, they find it easier to just use regular analog radio or, or the new digital version of radio broadcast called right. uh, HD radio right. and then just transmit in the usual way and have old school 
radios and, and newer ones that can accept the digital signal. Mm, that makes sense, right? And so with, with those ones, you also have the ability to, like with satellite radio, one of the key selling points here is the fact that it'll actually tell you what song is playing, so you don't have to guess, wait yeah. for them to back sell it like 30 minutes down the road. You can actually just look at it and say, oh, that's George Michael performing... Um, wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Wake Me Up Before You Get Arrested. Um, all that sort of stuff, so... And uh, with the new HD signals, the digital radio, you can do that as well, but with backward, older radios, you can't right, do it. that as well. So. so there's a data stream that comes with that. There's as a data well, stream. Audio. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Good stuff. Now, I noticed you have a boom box here, so obviously designed to bring mm -hmm. uh, it in to home or be mm -hmm. mobile and that sort of thing. I guess this is the new boom box, what yeah. you guess you used to call it Ghetto Blaster years ago. Yes. But it's uh, now, question for you, are these specific? Yeah, they are specific to Sirius. Yes, they are specific. So mm -hmm. in general, right now, anyways, you either buy Sirius or you buy XM. Mm -hmm. uh, because the two companies are in the process of merging and they're promising that people will have access to both services down the road mm -hmm. without having to buy new hardware, there, there's going to be some trickery going on behind the scenes to make that happen. At this point, um, it's one or the other. Right. And my understanding is the operating system on here can actually be transmitted down updates and that sort of thing, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so a lot of the information, like subscriber information, for example, when you subscribe, I mean, it, this is a one-way thing, right? You're receiving this. So the stream that's being sent down on the satellite has a whole pile of information in subcarrier that it can see. So it can say, oh, the channel order has changed. This is now a jazz station. And it'll say, oh, OK, time to reload the channels and all that. It'll send down the subscriber information. So they'll say, this. ID, which each of these has a specific ID, mm -hmm. and say this one's authorized to listen this month. Right. And it'll just bang, send out all that information as well. So if there are updates, it can send them out like that automatically. Very good. Okay, cool. Uh, so do you think that anybody who has existing gear should choose, should, should be, would be able to use XM in the future or Sirius in the future, like both services? Do you think that'll be capable? That's what they promise. They if promise you... that if I have this Sirius radio now, I'll be able to listen to XM in the future, mm. once the, the once merger is complete occurs. and they've figured out the details on that. So. Good. And these devices run, I think I've, I saw the pricing, they run between $100 and $400 depending on the device. Mm -hmm. You have a Stellato there, a Stellato 2, and it's mm -hmm. the $399 selling yeah. for right now. Yeah, I mean, this one's a little bit more expensive because it's made to go. It has an antenna built into it so that you can listen to it like a Walkman on when you're out and about. Right. It actually has some built-in memory so that you can actually record what you're listening oh, to. Is that right? Um, a bunch of extra features like that. Um, something like this one right here, the creatively titled SP5 is strictly uh, a radio receiver, and this mm -hmm. is all it is, and I think it's under $100. Hmm. So it, you, you don't have to spend a ton of money. The, the majority of the money you're going to be spending, for the most part, is going to be the subscription, on the subscription right. which will add up. Now, Sirius had a $500 one-time one fee until your equipment died, so you're paying per the uh, identification number that's found inside the machine, oh, I see. rather than a service for you, Andy Walker. In other words, you right. pay for each device. Got it. But you can, you can get a family pack if you have multiple devices and get a discount, but that's in general, you're paying per device. Very cool. Which is not like your old school radio. You could have like 1,600 radios sitting around your apartment for no extra fee except for the hardware. Right, got it. Not that you want that. No. All right, cool. Anything else to add? No, let's uh, try to get this uh, uh, antenna working over the break. Over the break. And uh, we'll come back and All talk right. about that. Well, we'll be back after this while we readjust our antenna. <laughs> But not only is it in digital, it's radio from the past. It is radio from the past. Talk about time shifting. This is like Bob Hope and Al Jolson. It is. Well, you know, uh, this is you were talking about all these being niche, uh, niche channels here, and that's just how niche it really is. It's like you have got uh, old comedy channel on here. Uh, there's you know, six or seven different news outlets. There's a bunch of jazz stations, a bunch of rock. There's like a specific Howard Stern channel. There's a specific Oprah channel somewhere. God. Um, there's an NHL channel on XM, so... Lab Rats! Lab Rats Audio. Fun! How would that work for food demos? Uh, I don't know, that would be kind of hard. Anyways, lots, well, of, lots of sound effects. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's we'll change to a different channel. That's religious. 
No, that's another comedy. They might start swearing. Lived in what you'd call better surroundings. I think I'm going to go over here, anyways. Okay, I mean, just turn it so, down. So, anyways, it, it works, but uh, look, look for the blooper because we're going to put a bunch of us opening curtains and stuff. So, you know, it's it can be a bit of a pain getting this out there. And I mean, thankfully, there's a balcony out here that we could put that on, but. Not everyone will have that option, so That's true. make sure you have a window that faces towards the satellites, and I guess in this case... It'd be south. South, huh? yeah. There you go. Um, one of the things about that was kind of interesting. They, they had the satellites so high up uh, that they came in at a, a very funny angle in some cases, so apparently XM had better coverage overall. Uh, the Sirius sounded better, but it disappeared in certain areas because of the angle of the satellites. <sighs> Hopefully that'll all change. Well, with both, it actually makes sense. The merger makes a whole lot of sense, right? Yes. More, double the content and double the coverage. Double your pleasure. Double, double your, your pleasure. Fun. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So there we go. That's very good. Um, okay, and now? Pictures. Picture time. Satellite pictures. Satellite pictures. That's okay. where we receive these. Let's have a look. So we uh, got this photograph Woo. from TJ, who's a video producer in uh, Clancy, Montana. Cool. And, uh, that's didn't you drive through Clancy, Montana? I didn't drive through Clancy, but oh. I drove past it. It was he's a bit north of where I drove through. All right. So I drove down the uh, I ninety hmm. coming uh, through Montana. There you go. Well, that's pretty awesome. I Sean went, was almost near you. I went TJ. through uh, Bozeman. I went through Butte. It was great. <laughs> Good. Okay. Great. I went through Missoula too. Missoula. Missoula. Fun. I did not go through Helena though. No. All no. right. Or Good. Clancy. Okay, so there you go. Very nice. Thank you, TJ, for sending that in. Yes, And sir. for putting us on the screw screen. Oh, yes. and this one here is uh, from Jarrett, who I believe is in the Philippines. He didn't give us much information to go on, and it's a little bit small, but there you go. And I'm not sure which one of these is Jarrett. Right. So let's just say that these are all Jarrett, <laughs> and they are definitely in the Philippines. Yes, and, and they're all medical. They're all medical, Ish. and they're 8-bit. They're very pixelated. That's right. So there you go. Just make sure when you send us a picture, you blow it up. You have to give us a nice big one, big version. Send it up uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger than that. I, we, I know at the early days we were saying, uh, don't send them quite so big, yeah. but a yeah. little bit bigger than that. Very good. Okay, but good. You mean send comfortably a couple hundred k? Yeah, easily. There you go. Keep it under a meg, uh, megabyte of uh, file attachment. We're good. What about raw pictures? No raw pictures. No raw. No raw pictures. Okay. Especially if it's you in the raw. That's right. All right, so <laughs> from our viewer, Mark, in Oklahoma City. With clothes on. Oh, no, with, clothes with on. dogs. Dogs with clothes on. Paco, Lola, Toby, Mink, and Toad. Dog, Dog bless America. <laughs> so this is all, all five of his dogs, and they all watch Lab Rats. Very with, good. With neckerchiefs on. That's hilarious. That's <laughs> there hilarious. You go. Which one <laughs> of these dogs would be you? Uh, I'm the big dog. Yeah, I'm... Probably this sad dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark in Oklahoma City, thanks so much for that. And is that it? No, we have one more. Oh, okay. We have uh, more dogs. <laughs> Where's the cats in this episode? We already had cats oh. at the beginning. Well, I suppose. Uh, I mean, it's dogs. I mean, Sirius. Sirius is a dog. That's right. So we have to have the dogs. All right. So this is, uh, these are dogs from Nathan in Sudbury. No names for the dogs. Nathan's dogs. But I will call this one Cuddles and this one... Booger. Booger? Cuddles and Booger. Cuddles and Booger. All right, well, All right. Nathan, Nathan... Is it Nathan? Nathan. Thank you, Nathan, for sending your Sudbury dogs. Cuddles and Booger. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. All right, don't forget to send your pictures, unpixelated, nice and large, of your, you and your cats. Well, and dogs, too, if you like. And frogs. And frogs and everything like that. Two... Cuddles and Booger at labrats.tv. Oh, that won't work. Oh, feedback at labrats.tv. Feedback at labrats.tv. Uh, you can visit our forums at cyberwalker.com slash forums. Uh, you can go and see what other websites that I run at cyberwalker.com and andywalker.com. And Sean's got a website called globalhermit.com. Yeah, not much going on there right now. I no. should change that. You should change that. I should change that. Right. Okay, well, thank you. Anything else to add before I say thank you? And I do my usual routine of bye-byes. No, you go ahead. All right. Don't forget to check out other episodes radio. of Lab Rats at labrats.tv. My name is Andy Walker. Thank you for pushing play this week. His name is? Sean Carruthers. Sean Carruthers. We'll see you next time. Passion sports? I love this. Bye-bye. Are you ready?
buddy. Sorry for scissor kicking you. <laughs> See, we've tried to get Boo on, on the show, but he just doesn't want to be here anymore. I know. Poor Boo Boo. Hey, hey, Boo. Hey, Boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Look how I got here. It's a picnic basket. Yeah, Boo Boo's off to get the picnic baskets. <laughs>